how electrical systems are made. They're designed and overseen by a special kind of engineer. Let's go meet an electrical engineer. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. I'm Sonia. Come on in. I'll show you around. Great. My name is Sonia Molai. I'm an electrical engineer in Vancouver, BC. Responsibilities of an electrical engineer are to plan and design the electrical system for buildings, such as power, lighting, communication, security, and also fire alarm system. You need to coordinate with other engineering disciplines, including structural, architectural, and mechanical. And you need to ensure that any changes in other engineering consultants' design is reflected in electrical drawings as well. We conduct numerous site reviews and site visits to ensure that all the deficiencies are addressed and communicated with the contractors. We also review shop drawings, construction documents, and to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as we can. You're working on detailed design. You're working with various software. It can be AutoCAD, it can be Revit, depending on the type of the project you're working on. It's very important to be innovative because you're looking at it from the perspective that you want to have a feasible design which is also efficient and cost effective. Standard hours are 8 to 5, but since this is a project-based job, so we might be required to stay longer hours just to meet deadlines. So it seems like the type of job that you're constantly being presented with new challenges. Absolutely. Every project is unique and it presents its own challenges. Mm -hmm. You need to be very innovative. Yeah, I bet. Physics and math, they've always been my favorite courses. And I believe that's what engineering is about, incorporating numbers into principles and creating a design that's efficient, economical, and feasible. You need to complete a four-year degree program in electrical engineering. That's a requirement to enter to this field of work. And if you want to become a registered or professional engineer, you need to also have four years of engineering technical experience. And also you need to pass your law and ethics exam. And essentially you need to meet requirements of engineers and geoscientists of BC. So in an ever-changing world, this job has to change along with it. Absolutely, there are always seminars and conferences. You need to stay current. Also, as part of being a professional engineer, you'll be receiving engineering stamp. And by applying that stamp on the drawings, you ensure that the drawing or the document was prepared by you or under your direct supervision, and you're assuming responsibility for the content of the drawing and documents. You need to carefully check your drawings and your calculations, and you need to make sure that you comply with local codes and standards. This job has definitely changed over time because technology is rapidly changing. For example, 10 years ago, we probably didn't have as many electric vehicles. We didn't have as many electric car charging stations available. This is a requirement that we typically put on the drawings. With electrical engineering experience, you should be able to work at power utility companies. You can also work in heavy industry sectors such as mining. If you're considering a career in this field, I would recommend uh, do well in school, build up knowledge, be open to new technologies, take advantage of co-op programs. So it's really nice to have a career that you're surrounded by other really interesting careers. Absolutely, that's the favorite part of my job. I work with a smart team of engineers from mechanical, structural, electrical, and architectural, and I get to learn a lot from them. It's really important to be good with numbers because in our field, in electrical engineering, you're doing calculations for every single design. You're calculating your electrical load, you're calculating your, the size of your emergency generator, your transformers, your voltage drops, your cable size. So if the calculations are not done properly and you're not complying with code, there can be massive implication on safety and eventually costs and hazardous risks. There might be a misconception that this job is less suited for women, which is not the case. Engineering is about innovation, being creative, being a problem solver, and being a team player. And if you're up for it, this is the job for you. Well, Sonia, thank you so much for showing me around today. I really learned a lot. Thank you so much for coming in. Have a good one. You too. And once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours.